hi guys welcome to my youtube channel this is pinky sense academy please like subscribe and comment this is organic chemistry revision questions and answers so the first question is uh, what name is given to a compound that contains carbon and hydrogen compound that contains carbon and hydrogen only it's called a hydrocarbon give the name of the following so you just start counting carbon from here it's carbon one carbon two carbon three and carbon four so you give carbon the least number so it is two two dimethyl and then the longest chain is one two three four two two dimethyl butane then this one you you give the double bond the least position possible so it is one two yes so it is pent two in because it has one two three four and five the next question you've been told describe a chemical test that can be carried out to distinguish between uh, the substances represented by structure one and two oh this is it forms a scum supposed to study the chart and answer the questions that follows so you have it you are supposed to identify a b c and d a is ethene b is sodium carbonate c is sodium propanoate d is ethyl hydrogen sulfate explain how substance a and that b can be distinguished c h2 ch2 burns with a yellow sooty frame c h ethene now your bands with a yellow smoky frame. Write down the equation for the reaction between substance A and hydrogen gas. It will form ethene. A student found a bottle containing uh, that one. Name the process of formation that's esterification. And uh, identify two substances that are required. You have alkano and alkanoic acid. The formula below represents the active ingredients of in a surplus detergent. Give an advantage so surplus so detergents they are soluble in water and can be used in hard water and disadvantages are they cause pollution thank you guys for watching please subscribe like and comment bye so describe the chemical test that can be carried out in order to distinguish the substances in one and two above so it's an alkene and an alkyne you can bubble through bromine water or you can burn it and observe how it reacts um, ethane it's a compound of crude oil one more of ethane was reacted with one more of hydrogen chloride gas and the product p1 was formed uh, then that p1 was reacted with excess hydrogen gas to form p1, p2 so when you react an al alkyne with ex hydrogen uh, chloride gas you will get this compound that is 1 1 dichloro ethene you are supposed to study that flow chart and then you answer the questions that follow so you have pentane then it goes to propene then another method uh, step 2 you get M and then you have N here then you get propanol then you get uh, you pass through butanoic acid you get the substance so even before we go to the questions m is poly polypropene this process is cracking where a large chain alkene is broken down into smaller chain alkene and an alkene then propene when you add water that is hydration propanol when you add uh, butanoic acid now you are carrying out esterification, so it's propyl butanoid. So you're supposed to name the process in step one that is cracking condition. You need a temperature, a very high temperature of about 400 to 700 degrees Celsius. Identify substance N, that is ethene, and uh, one disadvantage of continued use of substance M. Uh, 
they uh, do not decompose easily and also they give off poisonous gases. The process represented in one, it's hydration, the name of the structural formula of compound Q, that is propyl butanoate. Here you have another flowchart. You have a long chain uh, alkane passing through a step to give this. Then you add nickel catalyst. That of course is hydrogenation to get an alkane. Then when you add hydrogen chloride, it will give you chloropropane. The same when you, it undergoes combustion or when you burn it, it will give you CO2 and water. Then you polymerize it, it will give you polypropene. So you're supposed to name the process in step one, that is cracking. Chemical tests that can be carried out to show identity of organic compound A, that is propane, you can add bromine water or acidified potassium dichromate or potassium permanganate. Then you're given another question. You're told to give the name of the following. A is propane, B is one chloro propane give the structure formula of substance c uh, that is polypropane so it is just a large molecule with repeating itself it's a polymer name the type of reaction that occurs in step four step four is here this uh, that is combustion and then step five it's dehydration give the reagent and condition necessary for step six step six here it's here you are dehydrating converting propanol to propene so you require conch sulfuric acid and a temperature of 180 degrees celsius Give the systemic name of the following compound. So you just count the carbon numbers. Then I represented it here. So you have a double bond at carbon number two. So it is prop two in. And then this one, I drew it again. So you have a triple bond at carbon number one. So it is prop one in. This is number three. It's another flowchart. You're told to study the flowchart and answer the questions that follow. I have done through the flowcharts, starting with the, this molecule. This is ethanol. When you add sodium, you get sodium methoxide. When you add sodium carbonate, you get uh, ethanoic acid. When you add Sodium hydroxide, you get uh, sodium ethanoid. Uh, when you add ester, you carry out esterification, you get ether, uh, you get propyl ethanoid. When you de you react to that with alcohol, uh, sodium hydroxide, you get sodium ethanoid and propanol. And then when you add that methane to chlorine, you get methyl chlorine. Then when you pass, you polymerize this one, you get polyethene. So you're supposed to name substances X, Y, and Z. X is sodium methanoid, Y is polyethene, Z is propan 1, or it's here. You write the equation for the reaction in step three our step three is here that is uh, sodium ethanoid plus sodium hydroxide that is it here you will get methane plus sodium carbonate what are the condition and reagent required for the steps step one is esterification conch sulfuric acid and warm uh, step two is addition or halogenation reaction you need chlorine condition you need uv rays and then name the processes name labeled one, two, three, and four, and five. So it's esterification, halogenation, decarboxylation, oxidation, and dehydration. I think I have labeled them all. Here we have esterification, oxidation, 
we have decarboxylation we have hydrogenation and we have polymerization question number five you're supposed to study the scheme below and uh, starting with ethanol and then you study it and answer the questions that follow so you are supposed to start here ethanol when you react it with sodium uh, potassium sorry it is going to give you uh, potassium ethanoid um, then when you react you dehydrate it here you get ethene when you hydrogenate it uh, you get this product when you polymerize it you get polyethene there ethanol when you you react it with uh, ethanoic acid and a few drops of conch sulfuric acid you get ether ethanoid so then when you react sodium ethanoid with this sodium hydroxide you get methane and then when you carry out chlorination or, or halogenation using uv right you get excess chlorine you get tetrachloromethane so name the compound pns P is ether ethanoid, S is potassium ethanoid. State the type of reagent and reaction required. For Roman 1, yeah, it's a reduction reaction. So you require lithium aluminum hydrate. Step 2, here it's dehydration. You need conch sulfuric acid. Step 3, it's here. You need platinum catalyst. Name reagents are that is sodium hydroxide. Right equation for step four. Uh, step four. This is step one. Step two. Step, step four is here. Ethanoic uh, acid to convert it to sodium ethanoid plus water. This is how you do it. You react it with sodium hydroxide to get sodium ethanoid plus water. Name compound T and draw its formula. That is no tetrachloromethane. It's drawn like that. Name compound U and state one use of U. Compound U is here. That's polyethene. So it is used to manufacture plastics or uh, polyethene bags. And then you have another question. Name the processes marked W, X, and Y. So this is a question that is here. Here you are supposed to study the scheme and answer the questions that follow. So here you have fruit juice, crude oil. So you can start from pure this, that is ethanol. You oxidize it, you get ethanoic acid. Uh, you pass it, dehydrate, you get ethene. Uh, then you convert it using nickel catalyst, you get ethene, then you get dichloroethene. This process is a starification. And the first process here is fermentation. So, you are asked to give the names of the following sub... Uh, processes substances A to D and K. A is ethene, B is ethene, C is 1, 2 dichloroethene, D is hydrogen, and K is uh, water and ethanol mixture. The formula of substance M, substance M is here, you are producing gas D and substance M. Substance M is potassium ethoxide. Then you are told to name the processes marked W, X, O, and Y. W is fermentation, X is esterification, and Y is dehydration. Here we have another question. You are told. The list below gives the formula 
of some organic compound, use it to answer the questions that follow. So you have them there. You are supposed to identify the ones that are not hydrocarbons. I chose this one. It's an alcohol. And this one is alkanoic acid. They belong to the same homologous series. You have this. Then, is it this one and this one? Identify the compound that is likely to undergo addition polymerization, must be an alkene. That's why I chose this one. So, you're supposed again, number B, you study the structure. This is a soapy detergent, and this one is a soapless detergent. Okay, you're supposed to state advantage and disadvantage. Soapy detergents are cheap and they, does not, they do not cause pollution. Disadvantage is they form scum. These ones, they are soluble in water and can be used in hard water. Disadvantage is that they are expensive and cause pollution. Under a, hot con a certain condition, ethanoic acid and ethanol react to form sweet smearing compound. What is the general name of that sweet smearing substance is ester. Structural formula of the sweet smearing substance, it's here. So you start naming this side. So this is ether, ethanoid. Give the uh, conditions for the formation. You need a few drops of sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. Reaction between dilute ethanoic acid and sodium, solid sodium carbonate, it's here. It will give you sodium ethanoid, CO2, and water. So you have a table here showing the properties of organic compounds, U, V, W. Use them to answer the question that follow. So you are given some characteristics, decarized of very fast burns with the yellow flame, smoky flame. No reaction here. Yeah, it's no reaction with bromine. Burns with uh, blue flame. It's dehydrated and uh, decarizes with bromine. So the properties uh, that fit alkene are these ones that belong to you. Alcohols, these ones, and W, they are alkenes. Uh, that is when the, when heated under high temperatures and pressure, form a solid with a large molecular mass. Write an equation for the reaction which involves formation of that solid. It's this. Name the solid and give it use. That's a propane. A state two uses of cracking. It's used in manufacture of ammonia through Haber process. Giving the UPAC name. You just find the longest continuous chain. You give the branch the least number possible. So it is 2 methyl. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 methyl hexane. This one is a thine.